We all know why you're here, you read the title, and you were enticed by the inner workings of my geeky mind. So let's just jump to it and take a look at my three favorite cameras for vintage lens video. If you're new here, well, welcome to Ingef. We're professional video makers that make videos about making videos for people that want to make videos and to help you make better videos by making these videos about things that make videos by using the things that make videos. And after three years of binge watching Mark Holtz's videos, shooting video with vintage lenses has become a bit of an addiction for me. In fact, that's all we actually use in both our own videos here and also in most of our commercial work too. There's just something magical, organic, and almost an intangible beauty about these dusty bits of glass that I just love. They make shooting videos something of an exciting challenge. So in that time of making what probably amounts to hundreds of videos, I've come to a few interesting conclusions. Primary of those is that some cameras are more suited to this than others, and often, they seem to be the ones that get absolutely no love in this hype-filled YouTube landscape. So in an attempt to combat that, I'll be looking at my three favorite cameras that I've used to shoot video with vintage lenses. One's underrated, one's totally unique, and the third may surprise you. First up is what I think is the most underrated video camera of the past couple of years, the Sigma FP. This just isn't an incredible piece of filmmaking kit, nor is it just incredible value, but this camera loves vintage lenses. In many respects, it kind of feels made for it, being the rightful heir to the original pocket cinema camera. When we got to test this camera with its full frame and its L mount, I instantly reached for pairing it with the Sigma Mini Wide Macro, which is a 28mm f2.8 Prime from the 80s. It's one of those perfectly imperfect vintage lenses with awful chromatic aberrations and a weird lack of corner sharpness, even when stopped down. But it's around $50 and makes its own unique Helios like bokeh swirls and bubbles. In short, I love its weirdness, especially when wide open. And as I'm something of a simpleton, I quite liked pairing a Sigma lens with a Sigma camera. It was a pairing that firstly produced some really exciting and interesting results, but was also a pairing that gave me the filmmaking joy that I'd only actually ever received before when I'd filmed with the original Blackmagic pocket cinema camera. It was a hands-on, it felt really manual, it made you actually work yourself into the shot rather than just spectating the shot. For sure, this is not for everyone, but the results from this underrated camera and lens combo made me smile. And there's very few pieces of filmmaking kit that can actually do that. Second in this vintage lens triptych will be no surprise to anyone that follows us on this channel. And that is the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. This almost 10 year old camera is so far from perfect in our 12 bit 4K world that it's almost laughable that I would still use it. But it's one of the few cameras that I don't think I would ever consider selling. There's just something magical about this Micro Four Thirds camera with its Super 16 sensor that oozes character. I'm just not sure it could ever be replicated. But this tiny body and that sensor now feel almost made for vintage lenses. Even when paired with the uber cheap Pentacon 50 mm it has a quality unlike any other pairing I've ever used. Now, these cameras can still be found on the used market, but they've jumped up in price since I last looked at them 12 months ago. I like to think that I'm single-handedly responsible for that, but I somehow doubt it. However, for around $500, I'd say this is almost a no-brainer if you're like me, and not just a video enthusiast or professional, but an out-and-out -out geek too. If video is your hobby and your job, then this combo, or at least this camera on its own, must be owned.
finally comes that camera that may surprise you, and it's also the newest here, and that's the Fujifilm X-S10. Now I've spent a fair amount of time recently working with Fujifilm's cameras, and I could easily put any of their newer releases in this video, and also in the underrated category too. However, I've picked out the X-S10 as it represents such good value and accessibility that it feels like a good fit for those looking for an entry point into this world. Much like with the Sigma FP, my childlike imagination thought it would be fun to pair this with a vintage Fujinon 55mm f1.8, and I was so glad I did. This lens has so many imperfections which are in truth kind of the point of vintage lenses. Those swirls, aberrations and bokeh bubbles are what give your image character and what make it different and that's what I really enjoy. I love how the bokeh shape shifts towards the corners of the frame, how the background kind of swirls away and with that slight colour shift it gives you an almost creamy quality. It won't work for everything but once you know it's there you can reach for that aesthetic with intention. The X-S10 with its APS-C size sensor and awesome handling ergonomics make it easily the most comfortable for handheld manual focusing. And with the combination of Fujifilm's insane IBIS system, actually make handheld shooting really exciting. And for me, that's the perfect combination and the shooting style that I really love, handheld, with a vintage manual lens. It just makes filmmaking incredibly fun. There we have my top three cameras for vintage lens video, which in truth could equally read my top three underrated cameras for video, but I think I may have already made that video. Anyway, all of these bodies just kind of lend themselves to adapted lenses, particularly from the M42 mount, but all for different reasons. So for some more info on these lenses and camera combinations, I'll put some links below. And whilst you're digging around, why not take to the comments and ask, Pete, what's he gonna buy to give away next? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.